Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. So this has been a wild week. Earlier this week, Google put out a press release and a fake demo of what they were calling Gemini AI. And today on Friday, Mistral AI has released a torrent for their latest 7B mixture of experts model. And I've got to say, my hot take here is that Mistral 7B is the actual state of the art in LLMs. Microsoft and Google are trying really hard, but in terms of where the rubber meets the road and what actually makes these LLMs useful, in my opinion, Mistral AI is doing the most advanced work in the space possible in terms of what you can use right now. And ironically, you can't use the latest model that's in this torrent right now, but we'll get to that. So as someone who is a day one subscriber of ChatGPT and uses ChatGPT4 all the time, I really like ChatGPT and it's great, but it's massive. It's this big black box that runs in server farms. And the issue is it seems to get lazy sometimes. Uh, for instance, the last week, it just wasn't that good. Maybe it was after Sam had to come back to the company and whip things back together. However, Mistral is tiny and amazingly coherent. And if you haven't used their 7B model, you sh really should just go use it right now. It's incredibly useful both for its size and its general questions, code capability, it's uncensored, and it's a leap that I really wouldn't have thought was possible even just a year ago. And Mistral AI, there are, there are a lot of goofs who work there. There are a lot of very candorous French guys and they like to surprise us. So they've teased us this week with what they're calling Mistral AI 8X7B version 0.1. What is this? So basically this is one of the first models coming from Mistral that is a mixture of experts model. We know that there are eight, in theory, experts baked into this. And this is the same basic structure that ChatGPT is built on. So the idea is you have one expert that's good at literature, one that's good at math, one that's good at programming, another that might be good at doing Excel spreadsheets. And the idea is you pick eight of eight things you really want to specialize in. And then when you make a prompt against these, you pick two of the best ones and then maybe iterate through them to get a response as fast as possible. And that's what they're trying to do with this. Now, it's also kind of a reason why this model is so big. So what we know so far, again, mixture of experts architecture, it's right now just waits, so you can't actually run it. We need a little bit of code to run this that no one has currently. It's an eight by seven billion parameter experts model, potentially trained starting with their base 7B model. There are also some speculations that this was maybe trained on uh, some other example data that was used to train Llama at Stanford, but this is not based on Llama. A really common misconception is that Mistral 7B was derived from Llama, which it is not. And again, the, the entire file here is 96 gigabytes in size. So no, again, you will not be able to run this on your home GPU, even if you have a 4090. So what does the 8x7b of this actually mean? So it means it's an eight by seven billion parameter model in kind of a, in a trench coat. So if I, if I was to open my trench coat and I would have eight big test tubes each with uh, seven billion parameters, of um, specific contexts in each. So in theory, since you, you can run two experts at a time, apparently, this is running as fast as a 14 billion parameter model, but it takes up as much memory as a 40 billion parameter model, which is to say it's a 70% by eight by seven billion. So there's some process trained into this that chooses which experts to use based on the question posed, which at least in the form of ChatGPT is done with something like Clip. Uh, again, this is the first step of feature extraction to then understand the best experts to apply to the prompt to then give you something back. GPT-4 is again, allegedly based on the same architecture, but at a staggering eight by 222 billion parameters. So again, that's uh, 222 billion parameters per eight experts. So this will not be maybe as general or as widely capable as GPT-4, but again, with each model, there come different quirks. And I still love using 7B locally on my M2 Mac. Uh, I, I have to be honest, GPT-4 is great for certain things, but 7B is probably the most used LLM in my array of them that I use from time to time. Now, some other things that I think are really interesting here is fine tunes have emerged in the open source sort of realm of AI as one of the most interesting ways we see these things evolve. And in the case of Mistral or Yi fine tunes, we're seeing really these new approaches that are being trained with a still undocumented technique called neural alignment. Uh, Mistral's demonstrated this a few times. And uh, they're just blowing away every other model in the Hugging Face leaderboard. Um, for instance, this is why Mistral's 7B model is beating most 70B models. And the 34B in testing seems incredibly good. And I've included some uh, of these fine tunes down below. Uh, the ones that I've picked are Una Zabirius 34B and Una Cybertron 7B. 
both of which are in beta. I mentioned this because it could theoretically be applied to uh, Mistral MOE, MOE standing for mixture of experts. And if the uplift is the same as the regular Mistral 7B and Mistral MOE is good, the end result is just scary good. Like so much better than anything we've seen even from massive companies, might I say even Google Gemini, which we all know might be fake. This might be an inflection point where running desktop runnable uh, open source LLMs is really starting to breathe down GPT-4's neck. And there is a really big question of, you know, with the time, even in just a week or two, that OpenAI just completely missed and lost with their little kerfluffle, if, you know, eventually we'll see a point where maybe these tiny startups doing really groundbreaking work might actually start to compete directly with these larger models. There's a curious kind of business case here, which is, you know, some people argue in relatively good faith that Mistral AI at this point, like Stability AI, is just trying to make things that are interesting enough that lets them raise more money, which they immediately go and spend on GPUs. So again, a really interesting phenomenon we're starting to see is fresh approaches that attract money at times seem to be more capital efficient and just more capable than companies like Google and Microsoft who in theory have endless money. I mean, if even if they didn't have the money, they could go and borrow it for pennies on the dollar compared to any normal people like us. And even though they have all this compute and all this data in theory, you know, thousands of the best engineers, these tiny weird French startups are still competing nearly directly with them. You know, the only difference here really is that you know, GPT-4 is much larger and there's more compute behind it. Um, really quick, what I do want to show you is uh, some of Karpathy's thoughts on this. So Karpathy's thoughts are coming from the params JSON. So these are giving us uh, some more hints as to what might actually be in this model. And he mentions this related code called Megablocks Public, which is part of, it's on the Mistral AI GitHub. And the reason this is thought to be some of the tooling behind how you would actually run and deploy this is because it's the only other time that Mistral AI has mentioned MOE layers in any of their research. Curiously, you can go try this out. You know, right now, this will not work with uh, the latest torrent that they've shown here. And basically his thoughts here were mostly uh, looking at the different layer configurations, looking at the multi-query heads. So basically these are look-aheads that will look at a prompt and then try to make the best guess as to which uh, mixture of experts set to use. And there just isn't a lot to pull out here until they tell us more. So are you guys going to download this torrent and try it out? Uh, are you a big fan of open source LLMs like this instead of GPT-4? Or are you big on big LLM uh, like Microsoft and Google having a huge monopoly over all this? So, uh, let me know in the comments. So um, as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. It helps us out a ton. And we'll see you in the next video.